He's there. Hey, hey! This damn power breaker. I Did need he to go? Put the breaker in the file room closet. Bro, this sucks. So I flip this, right? There we go. Power's back on. Alright, now hear me out. I was sat here thinking about some kind of quirky intro I could do for the next episode of Scrutinize, but at the end of the day, you've just gone ahead and seen that pre-intro that I've rolled. Yeah, that's about all you need to see. Oh gosh. We're back for more Scrutinize, guys, and guess what? I'm not ready for this ball crap! Wait, hold up. My game has been deleted. You guys saw I had the continue option last time, right? What the heck? So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Scrutinized. <laughs> Oh boy. First of all, I gotta say thank you to you guys for the incredible response on part one. You guys really seem to love Adam's game, so I'm back for that part two, and I'm gonna crack myself some more. Now, I have spent a lot of time watching streams, looking at other YouTube videos, and also talking to John Wolf, who has been a massive help with some tips, so I'm gonna leave his channel link down below. John has told me so much about some of the different documents, but it seems like when you play this game, it's a mission to get through the days as quick as... That's literally so obvious. What I mean to say is you have to be so efficient, shredding the papers, figuring out who is guilty and who is not, and you sometimes have to use your intuition just to get through the night as quick as you can. Before we get into this episode, I just gotta go ahead and put this out there, okay? Last episode got 30k likes, so we'll bring in part two. You want part three soon up? Yeah, I think you know how many likes we should probably aim for, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get it. It's that night one good stuff, man. I should man. get to my computer and get the night started. Mm-hmm. We probably should pronto. Now, first of all, we gotta shut all of our windows in this place, and apparently, you see this thing here? I can lock the window. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Last episode, I wasn't even locking the windows. Like, I'd close them and leave it at that. Yeah, no wonder I got my back meat snapped up. So, let's start by looking through all the rooms, making sure. I think these are all locked. Let's check this one here. See, look. That's not locked, dude. We gotta get all the switches turned. It's the only way we got a chance of surviving. And I think we've got to be very vigilant with the lighting system with this game. We've got to make sure lights stay on very often. Because if someone sees that a light's off, it's a prime chance to pick a lock. What? I have a flashlight? Are you... I had no idea I had a flashlight. Are you kidding me right now? Listen, lady, you're letting all the air in this place. I get it. You probably want to breathe on this hot summer's night. Hear all the crickets croaking and whatnot, but you got to keep these windows locked up. You know there's a murderer nearby. Do you want your back meat snapped up? Bro, both these windows are wide open. Are you, are you, bro, this is it. All right, let's get seated anyway at the desk. Now, first thing I want to check real quick is these cameras, okay? Flash that one. We can go left. See, nothing there, and nothing there either. So that's all good. Let's back out for a second. Apparently, Adam hid another feature in this game. If you middle mouse click on the windows. Oh, sweet. You gotta look at the lower window and do that. That's kind of cool. You can, like, look outside and probably use the flashlight too. Also, guys, before we get this night going, I was browsing my YouTube channel the other day, and I saw this figure. Apparently, more unsubscribed than subscribed are checking out my content. Like, what the I'm just saying, if you enjoy this video and you want to stick around, I think you know what to do. And also, there's some weird, like, notification button that you have to hit to see every video as YouTube by default doesn't notify you. I don't think I've ever said that in a video in the five years of doing YouTube, so I figured I'd plug that at least now. But yeah, let's get to it. So a key part of getting going with all this stuff, guys, is to have everything, I think, open on your desktop. It really helps a lot. So we can get all of this stuff. Let's just get a nice layout before we get going. Check the cameras one more time. Okay, it looks like we're pretty good for now, so I'm actually going to back out. And I think before I do anything, I'm going to check all my rooms. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna get used to turning around, bro. Like, every time, I feel like he's already in the house. Looking there, looking there. Okay, let's check the other two here. So this one, okay, we might be good. All right, I think we're safe for now, guys. Okay, let's get seated. Case number one, Daniel Hubbard. I met my neighbor for the first time today as he came by asking if he could use my bathroom since his plumber shut off the water at his place. I let him inside my home and when he was on his way out, he stood still and just started admiring things inside my house. I appreciated the compliment to my home decor and asked if he needed anything else before going on his way. He jokingly said, yeah, toss me a key so I can come back anytime. I forced some laughter at that moment to be kind. I'm not sure if he perceived how I acted as an agreement to his ridiculous question or if I'm just forgetful on where I last placed my keys, but now I'm missing a set of full keys? Yeah, that's some suspect stuff. So I guess we can type his name in to begin with, Daniel Hubbard. We'll search that straight away. Uh, we should find some no police records. All right, let's use the male hair and eyes thing. So we'll go male, hair color brown, and the eye color was green. We should find something, I believe, this way here. So let's see. Daniel Hubbard, he's right there. So straight away, we can put this on the database. There's the identification card. Now let's do a little bit more digging about this guy. Gonna search for the Sims. In the meantime, let me just check the cameras real quick because I don't want no one sneaking in behind me. Okay, we're still good. I'm actually gonna back off from the computer. Bro, 
My light system is off. Turn that freaking stuff on. How do you not realize when the light goes off literally around you, man? So zoned in on the computer. All right, check all these. Let's see. Things seem okay. Do I need to really go in the rooms to check them or nah? Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that one bit. I believe we're okay though, guys. We'll check the kitchen area too, and then we're good. <laughs> Bro, get out, get out, get out! What the f- Ah! Uh, what do I do? Hold on. Check the rooms, I think. Oh my god, I'm actually on edge, guys. Is that it? Is that GG? Check this room, check this room. So all the windows are locked up. What is going on? Hold up. How did he do that? He was straight there, dude. This is my one on casual. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go around the corner. Uh, I don't think he's in my house. I'm just gonna check around here a little bit more. Let me see. That window's all locked up. I don't know what's happening. Did I not check the cameras enough? Um, I have no idea what's going on, guys. Now I've heard he can actually appear in this closet, so I'm gonna keep that open at all times. Uh, I don't know what to do right now. He's already done the camera thing, so maybe that's it. It's like a GG. Let me check on the cameras again. I gotta prep for that jump scare though whenever I open these cameras. Like, he's not in any of them, so I don't know if I'm good. I guess I should proceed on as normal. We've got the sim DB. We've gotta hurry up with this now, guys. I'm actually a little bit paranoid. So we'll get the root kit done. If it can, you know, hurry up and connect. Here we go. Okay, there, there we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, I thought my game had just lagged out. So search history, bipolar, off meds, but I feel fine. Alternatives to taking bipolar. Meditation. Nothing suspect there. Uh, most of these seem fairly normal. We got some text convos to mama. Daniel, you need to take them. Your father and I aren't there to help you if something happens. So you need to take care of yourself. Uh, what's I do that? Hold on. Check these, check these. Okay, I don't see him anymore. I wanted to take a break for a while now and things are finally clearing up. I'm doing well, working, and I even made a new friend next door that trusts me. I'll be okay, Ma. I don't have his number. I talked to him for the first time. Uh, the next time I see him, I'll get to it, okay? He's really cool. Gave me a key to his place and said I could come by when I- <clears throat> Um, Daniel, you probably need looking into a little bit. We're gonna put that as evidence because that's a bit suspect, okay? Uh, let me see. I don't think there's no more on the phone. Take the cameras again. <clears throat> oh. He didn't do the jump scare thing, so let's see. Uh, leaves, value leaves furniture, so that's him, I guess, buying things. Uh, daylight frame, gallery wall, metal wall art, Asian strip. Uh, that's really not that suspect at all. I don't know if I need to put that as evidence. What was that? Hold on, what's this? There's like, that's gone red. Have I got no internet, maybe? Guys, I think I'm dead. Bro, I'm good? Wait. Did that guy not come and kill me or something? I don't understand. Check our room here. We're good. Check this room here. <sighs> the light's off, dude. The light's off. So put the light on. Okay. Light is now on. Let me just check behind the window. Okay. The window's still locked up. Please don't be in here, dude. Oh, God. Okay. We're good. So let's do this. Sorry for screaming. <laughs> this game has to be on edge, bro. Especially the part where it locks you whilst you stare at the router. Somehow thinking your psychic powers make this thing work quicker. It don't work like that, man. You know it. So grow up. All right. That's still open. We check these windows here, just to make sure we're all good. Uh, yeah, we're still locked there, okay? You know, I think a little bit of a problem with this game is that the more you start to figure out how it works, the more you feel on edge with, like, how precise you gotta be. Uh, I don't know if any of this is evidence right now, guys. I feel like maybe that's it. Let me, uh, try and submit this as suspicious. So if I put that in there, let me see. Nope. Is, is that wrong, I guess? I, I... It's so confusing, guys, honestly. I feel like the more you know with this game, the worse it gets and more difficult it is. Okay, unknown. So we straight away go to the DMVB, I suppose. Uh, the height is between, let's say, here and then six foot, as we can see. I should probably do a bit of backstory. I don't really know anything about this guy. So while chilling outside the liquor store, I saw a man's car speeding down Kelly Road and then turned into Sigley Avenue. I watched as he ran a red light, nearly hit a person exiting their vehicle, and hopped a curb as he turned into Sigley. Thankfully, no one got hurt, but even after the near collision, he continued moving at a high rate of speed. I think I could hear his tires scream screeching as he made another turn or two in the distance. What could possibly be going on where you disregard a human life in your efforts to be on time for something by speeding? Okay, quick search. The only one we pulled up is Daniel Reed. That saved so much time by simply using the height and the hair color and eye color parameters. So with that, another Daniel, by the way, what the heck? Daniels, what's wrong with you guys here? All right, so Daniel has no police records. I see social spy. Generally these people. He doesn't even have any social medias and stuff like that. Guys, I can't get a read on Daniel, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we cracked that. Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna also search his debit history. Search history, can pregnant woman eat nuts? Uh, what fruits are best for 
Okay, I'm already seeing a trend here. It looks like he's probably doing something for his wife. Let me try and confirm that. Let's look at pictures. So it's his wife and then people having a good time. I think the only person we should look at then is maybe his wife. Hey Val, I need to leave my work case up. Is there any way I can cover the rest of my shift? Sure thing, what's going on? So he was having a kid. So let me just try and straight up shred this. I want to see what happens, guys. Let's see, that was correct. So we didn't need any more info. That's what we got to do. We got to cut corners. Don't cut corners, bro, don't do it. It's like, to investigate and be punctual, you gotta be snappy. Hold up, anyone at my window? Okay, now we're good. I thought I saw a face or something at my window, guys. Lights off. Where's the light? Get the light freaking on. This is how people break into homes. Let me check out the window. We are good, okay. Right, next case, pull it up. So let's just straight away search her up before we even read anything. Cause I feel like we gotta be much quicker. What's that searching? So strange men are living in Tammy's house nowadays and I only ever get a decent look at them late at night. Tattoos, weird hair and, cha and tattered clothes. Frequently the place has been changing from a quiet God living home during the day to a blaring punk rock garage concert at night. I have a feeling that these men are taking advantage of Tammy and squatting in her home and there's nothing she can do about it. Talking to squat. And this dude, straight into the cameras, right? He's not. Okay, I checked all those. We see no one at the moment. I hear a car. Just don't focus on it, okay? We don't need to really listen to it. Let's uh, do social spy next, guys. Let's see what we can find. Oh, oh, hey! <laughs> Get out of here, you sucker! So we got him. Now, this is an older female. So let me just put female uh, eye color gray, hair gray, uh, it's gotta be this lady here, so straight away we'll put her in here. Uh, let's try and also do a search on her sim. Uh, I'm gonna fill these boxes whilst we wait, and I can also put that straight in the root kit, and then we can get ready to search everything else real soon after. That's the first one. This could sit right there. So we, that's wrong. There it is. Okay, so now we've got her details. And before I look at details, uh, I gotta see if anyone's broken my house, because I don't feel comfortable with this. Quick search history, a bubble stitch, baby blanket. Uh... Maybe she's like trying to help people out, like how to set up a trust fund. Pictures, so, okay, we can see. What the freak was that? Was that the internet going out? I felt like I should check that probably. All, right, all the lights are on, so let's get this internet done because we've got no choice. So with these classes evidence, I suppose? Uh, I don't think she's a suspicious person. She's probably trying to help. Text convos, uh, this is my new number. It's your granny, by the way. Uh, was gonna set up a phone. I'll come by later and help. Mom, I uh, wasn't supposed to tell you it's nothing and it isn't just me. The boys all need somewhere to live. Yeah, I think this one's fine, guys. By the sounds of it all, she doesn't care about her son doing stuff, so let's shred this. Please be right. Hell yeah, dude. We got some of that DOS coin, too. Next one, guys. Emma Lurie. I just did uh, the police record search. I'm gonna put immediately this in. Let's check social spy. So, that girl Emma from down the street is up to no good. Oh, we did this one before. I think she's innocent. You guys remember from the last episode? Uh, let me just try and shred this and see what happens. We were good. Finally, I can go to bed early for once. So, ah! how? Wait, wait, wait. I think I get what the problem was. So that killer right there, that's, I think the Russian dude from Welcome to the Game. I think the issue is if the lights are off in one of the rooms, he knows he can get through. Uh, so first of all, rip sleeping because you were sleeping in the dark. Before I file the final case of the night, what I have to do, guys, is quickly check around all of the rooms, make sure the lights are off and that the windows are locked, and I think we should be okay. This game is sick, dude. I don't know what it is about it, even with the jump scares. Like, I love this game. It makes you feel legit like a detective and that you're doing good. I should get to my computer and get the night started. Yeah, you should also lock all your windows and stop being stupid. Emily Linter? I think her name is, so let's type that in. I wish you could like straight up copy from the letters that you get. Yeah, you can't do that. My ex-wife is refusing to respect the terms of my restraining order. I've seen her standing on the sidewalk outside my apartment four out of five nights in the last week. I told her to leave me alone over the phone and today she left a photo of me in my car inside my mailbox. You're suspect. All right, so we're checking through this. She's got a motel receipt right there. Um, that's fairly normal. So she's obviously stopping somewhere nearby. Smith & Son's instant digital print. That is actually kind of suspect. So can I click and drag this as evidence, I think? We'll pop that there. Let me just look in the cams again. Don't do it. Don't do it. You get nothing out of jump scaring me. You're a child if you do. <laughs> police record. She has a police record. Whoa, okay. Put the ID in there. Let me just check the cameras one more time. Stay back. Stay back. 
Stay the freak back. Let me check those rooms too, guys. Let's feel safe here. Get the freak out. And also get the freak out. And, uh, you know, two more times. Let me just reiterate. Get the freak out. And, oh, yeah. Get the freak out. Let's see this police report then. So, responding to a domestic disturbance reported by Farrah Joseph Scott. According to Mr. Scott, Emily Scott Linton began threatening Mr. Scott with violence during a heated argument. When we arrived, the couple had moved outside the residence. I believe this in the top corner here, guys, says as well, you need two pieces of evidence when the cases are maybe in favor of that. So, I'm actually going to go on a whim. I can't put the police report as evidence. What the heck? I think just maybe search history. So let's take a look through this. Maybe nothing too suspicious there. Unless, wait, he's searching a lot about this dude maybe moving on. Let's see the text history. I've been thinking a lot. Gosh, she's been spamming this guy with messages. Uh, stop. I see it's at my apartment. Check the mailbox. That's evidence right there. That's going straight. <laughs> How can that not classify as evidence? Wait, you can only put one piece of evidence in there? Well, let me discard that. And I can straight up just put this in there with it then. So if I can only do one piece of evidence, let me try and file this one. Maybe we're good. Let's see. Okay, it went through. Okay, and there's like a two out of two right there. He's there. Hey, hey! This damn power breaker. I Did need he to go? put the breaker in the file room closet. Bro, this sucks. I literally just saw the doctor doing that. I know where this is. The windows are still locked. It's in here. Oh. So I flipped this, right? There we go. Power's back on. He better not have gotten into my property during that time. I definitely scared him off. Like, I don't really know what else I could have done. I felt like I had to hold that down. See, this is that moment where you pause a game and you think to yourself, is continuing this experience worth it? Because I don't, I don't think it is, guys. Damn it. Internet went out again. I don't care. I need to go reset the router in the backroom closet. I don't want to play this game. I don't want to play this game. I don't want to play this game! Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I had that open. He's in there. So what the freak do I do? How about I just stay in this corner, pull out your shotgun, and then we just sit tight and wait. This dude messed up, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I literally have so much furniture. This sofa right here looks like it weighs a ton. Stack it in front of this door before he even has a chance to know what's going on. Block him in. Starve the man. Now's the time you pull your phone out and you call the police. Like, you know legit. He's right in there, guys. Just chilling, hanging out in there, literally, because you see it's a closet. Well, I'm dead. I don't know what else to do, so how about we greet him? He's right there, so... Uh, yes. Just coming in. Please be polite. Please be polite. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, that was louder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna be real. I feel a little bit cheated right there because I did actually catch him in the camera and he did respond like he was gonna turn away. But then he still came in the house. So, I don't feel like that really makes sense to me. But whatever, guys. Let's get through this night, okay? Uh, my friend, Mrs. Morrison, has been acting kind of strange for the last few weeks. She doesn't come out uh, and see her other friends anymore. She doesn't even tend the garden or anything else. When I went to make a surprise visit a few days ago, I heard her arguing with her husband. He left the house shortly afterward. Whenever I try to reach her, I think she deliberately ignores me. Or maybe that bad stalker friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's got a criminal record right now, guys. This batch was called to George Washington uh, by the teacher. While well, I haven't seen, we met Mrs. Morrison, who appeared incredibly intoxicated. Mr. Bidden said that she was verbally assaulting a student for misbehaving in her class. Yeah, that's a red flag if ever I've seen one. So, uh, yeah. All right, there's her card. Yo, I was going to say, she does not look 60, though. Like, can we get these realistic expectations down a little bit, guys? All right, let's take a look for evidence then, guys. So... Uh, hmm, I don't know if anything's wrong. It looks like she's consuming a lot of alcohol. Her husband could be abusive. Wine stores in the area, lawyers, breakup songs, how to get someone back. How to court you, man, cheat. What? <laughs> I just want you to know I'm staying at a hotel. You need to stop drinking for Christ's sake. Lila, I'm sick of you drinking. Go to hell, Walter. What kind of man are you? Are you drunk again? Wow, okay. All right, so maybe she's like dealing with a breakup bad. So let me try and shred this straight away. That's what we get. That was actually successful. Gerald Scott, recently I went to an audition for a singing role in a musical. The audition went great, except for this one judge that took an interest in me. I was a younger guy with a low raspy voice. It seems he enjoyed my performance too much because he invited me back to his house for some private lessons. Got bored enough to start checking dolls out. Wait. Hold up. Dolls? I didn't think it was weird at all. I didn't get a creepy vibe from him until I got to his studio where he had me to sing in front of some odd looking dolls. It was off-putting, but I went ahead with it and did it. While he took a bathroom break, I got bored enough to start checking the dolls up some more. The skin felt bizarre, more impressively realistic, and on the throat area of one of them was an impression, like a door. I touched it only for a second and a mechanism and a paint whimper. Oh no. Dude, you remember the doll maker from the first game? I got a bad feeling about that, guys. I really do. Check these cameras real quick. 
Okay, the doc dude. Like, it couldn't be him. Surely the, the doctor guy who will be in stalks isn't Gerald Scott, right? Okay, Gerald Scott doesn't have a social spy or police records. So let's check his credit card. He's got a domicile depot. Plaster of Paris, stainless steel. So it seems like he's the one maybe doing the, like, dressing of these things. Right, I'm gonna leave that there. That's a bit suspect. Let's do a little search on him. All right, there he is. We'll bring him up. There's our man. So if we pop this right here, he does have an alias, which we have to use. So Jeremy, Jeremy Colon 01. Let's do a social spy here. Let's pair both together. No results found. All right, guys, we've gone to this guy's phone. Let's take a look. Preserving a human body, doll's makeup. Um, yeah, I think we found our man, guys. I have some beautiful singing babes for you soon. I want you to record them. Is this the conversation with the guy who maybe reported it? Sorry to get back to you so late. Thanks, Gerald. Make sure you get all of their organs. Yeah, that's going in evidence, and you, my friend, are literally about to be prosecuted. Goodbye, doll <sighs> maker. Damn it. Wait, did that page work? Again. It still works. Oh, with... we've just, we've already had this one before. That was, I think we don't investigate this because she's dealing with a breakup. Wait, before I do that, let me check around the house. So, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. All right, let me just exit this one more time. Let's make sure all the windows are locked up and none of the lights are off. Okay, all the lights were on and all the windows also locked up. So let's page this one. Then we'll progress to night two. And I think this is a perfectly clean slate. So shred, no, shred that up. Come on, dude. Let's see. It ticks over. Wait, that one said it was wrong. So we want to investigate her? Oh my gosh. I made it to night two with two mistakes. But dang, I don't feel confident with this, guys. All right, guys, I've been playing this game for around about 80 minutes right now. I've made some progression in terms of understanding the killers and also being killed in brand new ways, so that wasn't great. But I've got to get through this, and I've got to figure out what we do and then progress from there. I do feel like I'm starting to get to grips with this game a little bit more. I've got to work on paging and maybe being a little bit more precise with the info I put through as evidence. But it's difficult, man, because you're always on that time constraint, and it really does catch you off guard so often. For the next episode, we're going to continue through night two onwards, and I am I'm gonna try and record much longer so we can get like maybe three nights done or I might just like straight up go for the ending for the next episode. For this video though guys, this is what we're gonna leave it here and I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank- What the freak? My lights just cut out straight up guys. Uh, my light won't work, this ain't good! <laughs>